I'm Sugar and you're watching Cooking with Sugar TV. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple fish on the barbecue. It's healthy and delicious. Today I have a piece of tilapia and I'm going to show you a simple technique that you could do with any type of fish. You're going to steam it on the barbecue in some tin foil with vegetables. It's a really healthy way to cook and I think you're going to love it. I don't want you to focus on too much on the ingredients that I'm going to use today, but more or less on the technique because you can vary the ingredients for whatever you like. Um, today I'm making a teriyaki fish that I'm going to steam on the barbecue with some vegetables. I'm going to use some green peppers, some carrots, some chives, a little cilantro, some mushrooms, garlic, ginger. All those great spices go well together. Um, and then I'm just going to seal it all up, put it on the barbecue for about 12 minutes and you're going to have this most delicious fish. I start with a heavy duty piece of tin foil and I just kind of fold up the sides to make a base and then to start with you're going to want to layer in some vegetables. I have some sliced onions, a couple of cherry tomatoes and again you can use whatever you like. Carrots because they give it a little sweetness some sliced peppers, you can use hot peppers, you can use red, green. Again, don't get caught up on these ingredients. These are just things that my family enjoys. And I'm gonna lay my fish on here and I'm gonna give it a good seasoning of salt, pepper. Normally I would use fresh, fresh ginger but I actually forgot to pick it up at the store, so I'm using my powdered ginger. And then I have just this teriyaki glaze. You can really use any kind of um, Asian glaze that you like, you know, if you want to go with this type of flavor, but you can also use white wine. I'm going to dot this with some butter, some garlic, green onions, some chives, a little cilantro, love cilantro. Then I'm going to give it a squeeze of lemon and lime. I think I'm going to do a little more salt and pepper. Because I usually like to salt and pepper the vegetables too. I just forgot to do that before I put the fish on. Give it a little olive oil. I like a little bit of breadcrumbs. These are panko breadcrumbs. And I know the breadcrumbs won't get crispy in here, but they soak up a lot of the juices and they really give the fish a nice flavor on the outside. I like to slice a lemon real thin and then slice it halfway. Give it a little twist like that. And that goes on top because that makes it look pretty. And then we're going to seal it up and fold up the sides. And then this little package of love goes on the grill for about 12 minutes. This has been cooking about 12 minutes. And I just want to show you all the juices are in there. The fish is nice and flaky. You can see that. It's cooked perfectly. You see how easy it can be to prepare a beautiful fish dish. It's healthy, it's tasty, and when you serve that, people are gonna think, wow, you made this extravagant fish dinner, and it takes only minutes. For more recipes like this, log on to my website at cookingwithsugar.com. And remember, when you're cooking with sugar, you're cooking with love. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to click on the button above so you can subscribe and get updates for my latest videos. Uh, I hate that. Teriyaki barbecued uh, chicken. And I'm using a piece of tilapia. Chicken. <laughs> Sorry.